As a believer, you want to understand what, what is God passionate about the most? What is he concerned? That all men will know Christ. So, as you become God's representative in your field, it is to the end that you point them to Christ. That's all that matters. Go in all the world, preach the gospel. And I've said it again and again. Listen to what I'm saying. We all do not have a categorical call in the fivefold ministry. That is, you may have a calling, but not to be an apostle, not to be a pastor, not to be a prophet, not to be an evangelist, not to be a teacher. But every believer has a calling to preach the gospel. So you listen to what I'm saying. In case you are seated here and you are wondering, I don't know what my calling is. I'm showing you one. Let's start from that. Respond to this one first. I said I'm showing you one of your callings. What's the calling? Preach the gospel. Go out into all the world. Go ye. Did you put family Lazarus there? Huh? Huh? It's not your name is there. You can see my name there. I can see your name too there. Oh yes. Tell your neighbor, go ye. You know, now there used to be a time that a Christian is not convenient until he has won at least a soul. But it's like those times have become a thing of the past. All right? You have been in church and you have not saved one soul since the year began. And nothing is, nothing is pricking your conscience that everyone you meet, all right, and you refuse to win, that might be on their way to hell. Now, let me ask you a question. In the past two weeks, how many of you have met someone who stopped you to preach the gospel to you? Please wave your hands. You met someone who stopped you to preach the gospel? Anybody? Okay, one person here. Look at the number of us here. We have one person who met someone who stopped that to preach the gospel. So what that means is, if you were not saved, you would still not be saved. You didn't hear me. Do you know what that means? If you were not saved, you still will not be saved. That's what it means. That's what it means. So it means that people are, and as, as our world keep evolving, are you noticing that even when it comes to a real estate, what is becoming prime now is that it is to your tent, to Israel. Our life seems to be becoming more private. I understand that. It's cool. But not to the end that we fence the gospel away from people. That every opportunity you, you spend with people, you want to know, are you saved? Are you born again? If this is not your burden yet, then you are not being discipled properly. That when you meet people, you just want to know, are you born again? Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? What else will you be discussing with people for the next three hours without mentioning Christ? Some of us are opportune, and I tell you, it's, it's one of the fantastic opportunities to preach the gospel is to take bold. Sometimes park your car and just take bold. And just ask, are you born again? And know how to start. You are interested in the souls of people. This is the burden. Are you here? This is the burden of who? The Holy Spirit. That's what God has on his mind. John 3, 16, we quoted. For God so loved the world, he gave. His only begotten son, right? That whosoever believes in him should not what? Perish. But have what? I know you stop there. Now read verse 17. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be what? Saved. Verse 18 now. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is what? Condemned already. We still need to sound the alarm that there are millions of people trooping to hell. Hell is real. Hey, in case you've not heard that in a while, hell is real. It was made for the devil and his angels. But the devil seems to have decided that they will go with as many as possible. 
And guess what? We are the only hope. We are an endangered species. We are the only hope that they will come to know Christ. Hell is real. There's a series I'm going to teach you before the year ends. The title is Look Up. It's a teaching on rapture. That one day so, the world, the woke people, those who are very loud, insulting, those who call us names, those who drag us, will stand and be staring in the sky and will be gone. But before that day comes, we can get as many people as possible saved. Now look.